On Spirit Swap, users can earn rewards and boost their returns by participating in the actual governance of the platform. We'll cover that now as we chat about in Spirit. <laughs> So, what is InSpirit? To put it simply, InSpirit is the governance token of SpiritSwap. InSpirit is a yield generating governance and utility token based off Curve's VCRV and Pickle's DIL tokens. However, InSpirit is much more than just a ticket to vote. It is actually the key to maximizing your returns on the SpiritSwap platform. This happens in two ways. Number one, gives you access to an up to two and a half times boost on farm APRs. And number two, InSpirit holders also receive a share of all the swap fees on the platform. So, how do you get started? Well, first of all, you're gonna need some Spirit token. If you've been with us for a while, you may have still some Spirit parked in a single-sided stake. You'll want to move it from here regardless as emissions are now closed from the old single-sided stake. You need to check the inactive tab on the farms page to withdraw these tokens. If you don't have Spirit, you can exchange Phantom or another common base for it in the swap tab of exchange. Remember, if you haven't added Spirit to your wallet, you'll need to do that by clicking on the plus icon next to the name in the selected token dialog. To get in Spirit, head to the in Spirit tab and then the Generate in Spirit section. Here, you can select the amount of Spirit we want to lock and for which duration. Remember, the longer you lock, the larger your subsequent in Spirit allocation will be. Having a larger amount of in Spirit is beneficial, as the more in Spirit you receive, the higher your reward allocations will be due to your farm positions being boosted. Here are some important points. Once you have locked your in Spirit, it will stay locked until the end of the period you have selected. There is no way to get this back before the time is up. The in spirit reduces over time and converts back to spirit. This is a countdown clock towards your spirit unlocking. With this in mind, you cannot lock multiple bundles of spirit across different time periods in the same wallet. You can only increase the allocation over time, allowing you to retain your reward boost. Once you have locked and delegated your spirit via the in spirit tab, you'll now have an in spirit allocation. You can use this allocation to vote on the boosted farms APR allocations. To do this, simply allocate which farm you want to boost by applying your preferred percentage weight across farms. For example, if you're primarily going to provide liquidity to the spirit phantom farm, you would allocate the majority of your vote to this boosted farm. If you haven't caught our farming video, let's do a quick run through of Boosted Farms and how it relates to InSpirit. By hodling InSpirit, you get to reap the benefits and can enjoy a boost on the rates offered in the standard farm from one times to up to two and a half times depending on the amount of InSpirit you have in your wallet. You get rewarded the more you stake. Think of it as an added reward to your farming strategy as a result of locking up your spirit, which benefits you as well as the spirit ecosystem as a whole. In other words, this is our way of further incentivizing the delegation of spirit for a certain amount of time. These boosted farms were originally called gauges. However, due to confusion from the community, we simplified this name for a greater level of transparency. So it is the same as depositing in a normal farm. Head over to the boosted farm tab, click on which farm you want to add to your liquidity token to, click approve, once approved, you can add your liquidity tokens to that boosted farms, just like you would with our standard farms. Another important benefit of InSpirit is our weekly fee distribution. One sixth of the protocol's weekly revenue generated by fees from people using our exchange are used to buy back Spirit and distribute these to our InSpirit holders. Make sure you claim these fees each Wednesday at 3 p.m. PST. To do so, simply head to our InSpirit tab, click Claim Spirit. And presto, you now have extra rewards for participating in our protocol governance model. Remember, the more InSpirit you have, the greater your rewards. Lastly, InSpirit allows adopters of this model to truly have a say in how things are run. 
If you go to our Governance tab, this will direct you to any decisions the community are making on behalf of our DAO. You can vote to approve or decline these proposals depending on how you feel about them and how they align with your investment goals. To participate, simply click on the Governance tab, which will take you through to our Commonwealth page. From here, you can click on Snapshots, review any active proposals and vote yes or no, depending on your decision. This automatically calculates how much in-spirit you have and therefore how much say or voting weight your decision adds to the community leads decision. Truly decentralized democracy. The beauty of Spirit Swap is that we have such an engaged community that is constantly helping us to make the platform better. If you have any feedback from interacting with InSpirit or the wider decks for that matter, make sure you reach out to the mod team on our Discord. Can't wait for you to try out InSpirit on Spirit Swap. See you next time. Thank you.